Alaji ABF Zini has spoken, I don't know whether I have his authority to use this prophet. A woman doesn't jump a man's thigh to make love to the man or to mate with the man. I intend not to pay royalties to you. If you do, sorry, can, you can you repeat in that? Prophet, <laughs> I'm interested in that. <laughs> The, the, the government thing, and I like the ABA will polish it for me, but today I have no royalties to pay for him. That a woman doesn't jump over a man's thigh and at the same time still anticipate to mate or have a good companion with a man. You see, when you jump of it, you jump out of it, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> so, Mr. Speaker. At the, core, at the core of our problem, necessarily may not be the Minister for Communication. The inaccessibility and non-availability of the Ghana cards to deserving Ghanaians is at the core of this problem. And we must deal with this problem as the inaccessible, unavailable Ghana card to deserving Ghanaian citizens who may be thwarting the minister's effort and where they effort to get Ghanaians registered onto the same. And Mr. Speaker, as observed rightly by the Honorable Member for Bunkurubu, Mr. Speaker, when you go to the hinterlands, their access to Ghana card is not as easy as what is happening in urban Accra. And uh, Minister, you are the last person we should be discussing the viability and social significance of mobile telephony. Those who seems have so been blocked, some have suffered relationship problems. Some probably have lost their girlfriends, contact with their significant others. Even some have been threatened with divorce, very possible, because why have you not reached out to him or to her? Because your sin has been blocked. That excuse, that excuse, she may be creating problems for many marriages with this same block as a social problem. But Mr. Speaker, on a more serious note, you know mobile telephony is significant, Minister. So we are saying that don't just block sims when the fault or problem is not from the person who is holding the sim.